I'm going to call the meeting to order um, uh, Monday, September 9th, 2024 at 6.03 p.m. Um, do we have any adjustments to the agenda? I was just kind of wondering about the order, like uh, the 6.30, Alex Peltz and Harry Daly. Like, I know Alfie doesn't always get here until, mm -hmm. like, his portion, mm -hmm. so I was just curious if maybe he, yeah. if he wasn't here, if maybe we just left well, things. Well, yeah. And um, since Norm, Norman is here, if you want to bump Norman up, if you'd like. That's okay. If it's up to, it's up to you guys. No, it's okay. You're here and... I think that. But okay. he wants to stay all night because it's going to be really interesting. <laughs> 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 or, sorry. All right, so why don't we... Um, Maybe after the town treasurer's report, we'll get to uh, the LHMP. Norman, uh, yeah, Harry LHMP. has to do with probably the road commissioner, but the Alex Peltz doesn't. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if we don't hear any anything else, um, the minutes. Oh. Yeah. The next agenda item is to approve the minutes from our. August 26th. I'll meeting. make a motion that we approve the minutes from August 26th. All right. Any discussion? I did clean up that last section and I just wrote about the RFP. Chris is working on the draft RFP and newspaper. I have a few more changes to make, including the dates. The project probably won't be completed this year. Correct. That's Hearing no discussion, all those in favor of approving the minutes from August 26th, please say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Um, public comment for those folks who are on the agenda. Seeing that we don't have anybody here from the public, we will move on Robin. to the town clerk's report. Hi, Robin. Hello. How are you? I'm well. How about you? Good. Good. The first thing I'll need to mention is that Wes is going to be back on Wednesday this week to finish hooking up with the farmers. Oh, great. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> yeah. It was a little chilly today. Oh, but. so you couldn't even turn it on at all. No. Huh. And tomorrow, I will be out of the office all day for election training for the November election. And that's going to go from 8.30 until 5 tomorrow. Oh. And the ballots are going to be mailed out from the Secretary of State's office between September 23rd and October 1st. And I printed out the um, checklist today, and everybody that's on our checklist has got the date on there for a request. So everybody that's on my checklist is supposedly getting a ballot. Really? Yep. So, so you mailing ballots to everybody whether they ask for it or not? The yes, Secretary of State mailing it is mailing them or not. Really? Yep. Oh, it's no kidding. Cost to us. Oh, interesting. Which is very nice. Huh. And I had a call from Mayo's. They own property up on East Hill. Mayo. Clearing Rod. Okay. They have a conduct, conduct box up there that they have maple syrup that runs into that, into containers. Uh -huh. And that last flood up the road from where their property is, there's a culvert there. And Rod said it's plugged on the right-hand side going up the road, which made their entrance wash out. But that's just a driveway, right? It's not right the town road or anything right culvert but, responsibility but they don't want to put any work into it until that culvert up the road gets fixed so they don't have to fix their section many times right. and rod is more than willing to help okay. um, robin do you know if that culvert is plugged from fever activity or that he did not say so, um, so has he talked to I mean, we should bring that he, up he when, called, when Alfie's here. Yeah, he called this morning, and I left a message over to the office, uh -huh. but they never go back. Yeah. So. Okay. So with East Hill, mm -hmm. you go up the steep path, past Gallon's old house, and then you go around those corners. Yeah. And when you pop out the corner, oh, okay. it's right there on the left-hand right. side. Yeah, okay. Sounds like one of those culverts that 
he's been working to get replaced, maybe. I don't know. Well, we should bring it up with the money. Yeah. yeah. Money's here. Yeah. Thanks, Robin. And I did receive a call from Khaki Pelts. I sent it on to you, but I can't remember if I tagged the other two in it or not. She is interested in getting the speed limit lowered on her road. So she, she would like it down to 25 miles an hour. When uh, when you brought that up, we, we went in the vault and looked at we do have a policy, uh, road policy, I forget what it's called, but it was adopted a number of years ago. But, but Bailey Bridge Road is not listed in that policy <laughs> until you come to the stop sign where you have to stop and yield to get onto Route 14. Uh-huh, yeah. What is the policy? Can you? Uh, well, it's a, part of the policy is that all roads that aren't uh, otherwise marked are 35. It used to be 50 for every everybody. So we went through the process of all the 35 miles per hour signs at one point. And uh, in order to make a change, that means amending the policy. But I also did some research into change that speed limit sign, you have to have an engineer yeah. do a survey. And well, it's not enforceable anyways. We don't have any enforcement on our class four roads, or our class three roads, or our class two roads. So, <laughs> What was her so, reasoning? Did she say why she wanted it changed? I think it's because there's more houses up on that road now. Oh, I see. But yep. there's no houses beyond hers. Well, anyways. There's camps beyond yeah, hers, is that mm. true? Yeah, Alex wanted to come and talk about the road beyond there. I took a ride out there. You should check it out. It's bad. <laughs> it's kind of scary. I mean, I have four-wheel drive, but I mean, I have all-wheel drive, but still it was kind of scary. And the first chance I had to turn around, I took it. <coughs> I think it's probably not bad all the way down to the bottom. And is that that's town road? Uh, no. No. Well, in anything we've been able to find, it's it's a development road and or camp road, whichever you want to call it, private road. That's past khakis and down, right? Right. Two khakis, it's a class. Right. Three. Right. Yeah. So, anyways, you guys, it's Bailey Bridge Road. So yeah. just take a little ride. Okay. <laughs> you both have trucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's not here, so I. Um, Okay, and the treasures add, how much longer do you want that to run for? Has it been Or do you want it to run for? It's been in for three weeks now. And nothing. It's not going to be easy. No. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be easy. I was trying to convince Danielle. That... Sure. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't interested. It's too bad. A year ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh. Well, we should keep it in there, I think, don't you? Yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah. At least in the Gazette. And the, uh, How much does it cost to run it? Michael? There is a uh, state listing for different um, well, the jobs. The that, LCT has a yeah, VLC, place on their website. Place you would get other people to see it anyway. Yeah, ideally. <laughs> I would hope to blanket the, the, the town. The problem is that it's part time and it has no benefits. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's our problem. Yeah. yeah. But it's nice for somebody who doesn't need benefits and wants to work part time. Yeah. <laughs> that's what we've had in the past. And are, are we but. flexible with, you know, with that? Like if we were to find someone that wanted to work remotely? Yeah. That's not a wise decision. That doesn't yeah. help out the people in the office. Right. Or the people, or the public who have questions. Right now. It's yeah, because you wouldn't want in our calls is about tax. You wouldn't want the town <coughs> checks out no. at somebody's house. No. Right. Oh yeah. The checks need to stay in the office, the stuff you have. I mean there's stuff you can do remotely. Yeah. But um, no. It's mainly there and it needs to be there. Skip out his hand up. Oh, sorry, skip. In terms of flexibility, could you amend the job description to add benefits to it? 
and that might entice more people to apply or perhaps the incumbent to stay. I, I was just going to say, it maybe it's <laughs> worth talking to Randy about first. Did you offer her that? Did you ask her that too? What I was she? just saying if, if we were going to amend the job description to add benefits, that I'd say be like, like before going there, yeah. maybe we'd have a conversation with That'd Randy. That'd be horrible. Um, I mean, that'd be like a slap in the face to somebody who's worked all these years with no benefits. Uh, right. Well, it kind of is. And then I asked for a week's vacation, and that was a slap in the face. So. Oh, you didn't get a slap. Well, you didn't get it. It didn't if you go. You say no, then it, it's a slap in the Nobody face when I've been here 11 years. We didn't so. ever actually officially say no, and the conversation wasn't intended in any way as it any was, kind uh, of a slap in the face. It was and... No, you get you get a good deal. Okay, it so. it did sound according to my research like you had a pretty I have good no deal. I no insurance. I have no uh -huh. retirement. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and my back already from just feeling the cold from this morning and over the weekend. I don't know how winter is gonna I'm gonna take winter. Mm -hmm. I've got hardware now and it doesn't feel good. So. Um, mm -hmm. if you felt like you had a better better deal with the position, like, is it something that you would be considering keeping? I mean, it's, I feel like we haven't really had this conversation, um, but maybe it's right. worth having. I don't think it needs to be discussed during okay. a meeting. Sure. Yeah. I mean, um, yeah, but it, mm. it's, what it is to me is, is it, um, am I fighting for something that... You don't yeah. want? No, it's not. I mean, I know the job. Mm -hmm. I know the details. Mm -hmm. But and you're excellent at the job. Well, okay. Could we have mm -hmm. a more private conversation about it? Absolutely. It's not okay. going to hurt anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not. Yeah. And that would private conversation just would be an executive session for contract. This is a conversation with Brandy without yeah. any open meeting. Mm -hmm. No, I, right. I think it needs to be the whole board. Oh, okay. I, mean, and, and I, 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 I do think it could be for what they feel an executive session based on a personnel mm -hmm. uh, yeah. issue. Yeah. Right. Um, mm -hmm. Is that something we want to put on the next uh, the agenda for next meeting? If you're willing to, I would hey, say yes. Yeah. No, I'm not in your next meeting. Oh, okay. shoot. I'm going to Kentucky to visit my family. Okay. Um, do you want to do it this evening? I mean, we can do it this evening, but that would mean he'd have to stay to the end of the meeting. But mm -hmm. it's that and nobody's prepared to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We probably like we would need to have warned it, right? Mm -hmm. Or no, no you can have an executive really session as long as it's. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I don't know that. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. we can have a. Maybe you and Brandy Maybe can have a conversation that. without us, at, at, so that we're prepared at another at a future meeting. Okay, to I'd be have totally an executive willing session. to do that if you are. At That's fine. At some point, okay. like, are you in the office this week? Oh yeah. Okay, can I come and just find you? Yeah. Okay. I'm there. Okay, I'll do that. So, anyways, I think we should keep the it open until we have a resolution, one way or another. The the advertisement. <laughs> As long as everybody's call, agreed. Yeah. yeah. The advertisement? The Gazette and the World, or do you want it in the Times Argus also? I think, in my opinion, we got to put it in the Times Argus too. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Robin, anything else? The only other thing I did, I did research on the bike signs, who was going to do what. I think we already decided that at the last meeting. Okay. Because in one of the previous meetings, I said that the planning commission was going to get the price for the signs. They did. They did. Okay. Yeah. And that was passed along. And then last meeting we the asked. The road commissioner whose job it is to okay. do the ordering. Yeah. And that's for me. Thanks, Robin. Mm -hmm. Brandy. All right, reports, um, income over the last two weeks, cash receipts taking in $346,997.92. Current taxes of that were 
$40,156.04, delinquencies $681.68. VLCT gave the fire department a refund of $4,182, which you'll see in AP for a check. The library had a grant come in for $1,000. And then there was some miscellaneous um, recording, dog license, etc. Electronic transfers from FEMA, we received $83,485.25. Thank you, Skip. Yay! Mm -hmm. uh, State of Vermont also transferred in $60 for um, recording for Robin. Payroll over mm -hmm. the last two weeks, $8,661.16. AP, $28,441.50. I have transferred $380,000 from checking over into our money market. If you look at your balance sheet, it is showing a negative number. I have checks, or um, property tax checks, that have come in over the weekend, um, or sorry, today, and two that came in today that will be way over cover that. So no worries, we're not staying in a negative. The checks haven't got mailed out yet. Um, I'm just not transferring money because I have money coming in. So Brandy, when you say you'll see that so on your the balance sheet, the very first page. The very first page, yeah. It'll say in the checking that there's negative five thousand. Yep. Yeah. It's that not actually is not. That okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. That's showing as if I had already mailed those checks out and it was their cash. So I am, yeah, I'm not moving money until I have money in there, which is the mail that Robin just picked up, which is more than enough to cover that. So I'll be transferring. Once that's in the bank from my check scanner, because it takes 24 hours, I'll be transferring that amount over to the market. Mm -hmm. When, when um, your mortgage company pays your your taxes, As a company. yeah, yep. Do they pay that like quarterly or all at once, or do they? Does that come in monthly, or how how does no. that all happen? So, escrow companies, since we're just a one installment per year yep. for taxes, they will wait until the last two weeks before they give me the money. So you'll start seeing those come in in October. In October, they yeah. wait until the last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. sure. All right. So yeah, I've received a few calls saying, has my escrow company paid yet? They will wait until the last minute to, to get that paid, so. Other goodies. So, I tweaked the fuel RFP to read, and I only have one. So this is what I sent out to Okay. Gillespie's, Bournes, Amerigas, Conti, and this one is now, um, help me out, Rolex, I don't know what that says. Um, New England commercial, so I bought a blue flame? Yes. Okay. So. Blue flame, you said? It bought out blue flame. Who's that? So, what I have in front of me is Mike McGlynn's oh, okay. of what his rates are yeah. through, which is no longer Blue Flame, it's New England commercial fuel buyers. Um, how can we do, how can we change dealers for LP gas when they all own their tanks? They just pull their tanks and replace them? I still have to go out for bid and get at least three. You think? Yeah. That's in your purchasing contract, uh, policy. Mm -hmm. Well, it's, yeah, I don't know if the purchasing policy actually discusses long-term contracts, but it does. I mean, it's more it's like purchasing for, things, but year. anyways, yeah. So do you have to do this every year? I do. Yeah, she does. So um, I notified one, two, three, four, five, six. I got two back. Mm -hmm. um, Um, Gillespie's came back with propane for a dollar fifty-eight. Oh. Um, Mike McGlynn's is one eighty-two, and for oil is two seventy. Mm -hmm. so, mm. 
Gillespie's again. And they're the tank, but they're our current. Yep. And the Great. for you know, the fuel includes the diesel? There is no. You cannot lock in on diesel. It has oh, really? To, it had to oh. be removed off the RFP. No company will lock in for diesel. It fluctuates so much that there is no lock in or a free So buy that. we just stay with the current dealer? And right. Generally, what is that? What does that run like a year? What do we? Oh, we never had, have never done propane before, so we don't know. Oh no, we have done propane. We have. Yeah, mm -hmm. because we have propane at the barge, and we have propane. Yeah, yeah. At okay. the town hall. At the town hall. Mm -hmm. right. So and now we have it at the town office. We budget how much for propane? That's probably a way to find it here, right? So this is from Gillespie's. Um, stating, and I gave them on the RFP, mm -hmm. um, and we had to estimate for the office because we don't. The switching over, right. Correct. Mm -hmm. So we pay the lump sum, they separate it into each of our, we have five accounts with Gillespie's mm -hmm. for diesel, oil, and propane. Three locations. Mm -hmm. Thanks. For Town Hall, Pete, last year we only spent $948. And that's, a lot of it was because the fire department was using it. Mm -hmm. Typically yeah. it's not that high. This year we budgeted $1,500. And heat at the town office last year was $2,137. That was for oil and a little bit of gas? No. No, no, no gas no, for, gas. It's just oil. electricity for the hot water is under the electricity bill, right? Okay. Town garage, is that in there? The only reason I ask is if our purchasing policy has a, it seems crazy that you have to do this annually. Um, it fluctuates so much. But I mean, I, we're it, pre buying for that year, so yeah. there's no credits left. It's a, it's a fresh start, pre buy, here you go. Because the rates, mm. they can't lock yeah. in a rate more than a year. Yeah. Most places won't. Mm. Right. But I guess Gillespie the formal bid process seems, you know, like as opposed to just kind of calling three different companies and saying. That's kind of what I do. I okay. take the RFP, yeah. I email it to over three. Yeah. Um, mm. And whether, yeah. Okay. So I'm doing what the policy says as far as making sure I have three yeah. different people that I've reached out to. Gillespie's has blown out of water each year. Mm. Yeah. And, and I'm sure most of it is because we do do diesel with them. But with diesel, mm -hmm. you're looking at. It's all a little blurry. <laughs> heat, heat for the garage last year was six thousand one hundred forty-eight dollars. This year, so they use both oil and gas, right? And do we have a cutoff in our purchasing policy that things have to go out to bid? Is there mm, like you know? I think it's eight thousand. Eight thousand. Yeah. yeah. So for so we're pretty low, close to that. It was forty-six thousand. Last year. Fuel for the highway. 46,000 for diesel. Oh, diesel oh. fuel, yeah. <laughs> 26, yeah, 29. Last year, this year, we budgeted $50,000. All right. Well, thanks for doing that, Brandy. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Gillespie is that. Do you need um, a motion from the board to approve? Um, Gillespie's. I will get them to sign a contract. The one that I just handed over with the numbers, is there a back page for the select one to sign on? Bidder contact information, service plan proposal. No. So at the next meeting, I'll have that available for the board to sign. Okay. All right. Before I pre, pre type. Are we keeping this or do you want it back? Um, I, you can keep it if you like. I have a, either and or, if you okay. don't want more material. Uh, every <laughs> <laughs> I don't end up in my pile, which is big enough. Mm. Other, please, oh please, please, if you can hear me people, if you have a new address, please send it. Um, we are getting a bunch of tax bills back and mm -hmm. Me being a detective and Googling and trying to track down is just a nuisance, and it's a lot of waste of my time. Yeah. And expensive mail. My mm -hmm. 
paying the expensive stamps right now. Mm. Um, so please, if you have a new address, call the office, email me. Yeah. Other goodies. And this may or may not be, should or be discussed during executive session. Um, when I receive a timesheet and the policy was renewed back in March and signed, three days of sick days, and I don't have a doctor's note, and you go over that, I'm taking vacation from you. Mm. So the policy states three days you have to have a doctor's note. If I have no doctor's note in hand, mm -hmm. vacation days are coming off. You think it's... It, no, that's what it says. Clearly, huh? and okay. The road crew should have signed each of them that policy. The last page mm, states yeah. they should have signed it. The board uh -huh. signs it after them, and it goes uh -huh. into their personnel policy. Uh -huh. Whereas, their own file. but I did person make sure given that an opportunity to provide a doctor's note and just like didn't have it. I called. I radioed. I sent a message. No response from this person. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I made sure that they all got a copy. But I'm sure you gave it to them. So. Yeah, we've all had copies of it. Mm -hmm. What? Everybody has a copy of it. Did they, did they know they're supposed to sign the last page saying that they've read it? They've been giving them new copies and it'll probably be signed tomorrow morning. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> uh, anything else? Nope. All right. Thank you. Uh, we said that we would. Uh, oh, Larry's here now, so. Yeah, all right. Um, Alex is not out here. Yeah, Alex um, is not here. Norm, do you mind uh, switching back to uh, after Harry <laughs> as a moment? <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, Mr. Daly, um, you're here for regarding he's, Westwood he's Bay Road. Have a seat. Yeah. Well, we just kind of wondering what's going on with our road. I mean, we've had washouts that are still there since July flood. Mm -hmm. I understand they're working on class four roads. Mm -hmm. Our road is still not done. Um, if we haven't seen the roadside more, this will be the third year. Mm -hmm. um, one place where they put stone, it's washing back out again. The road is two feet narrower. You meet somebody up there. Um, Isaac, he got hit the other day mm. in Mira because it's not wide enough to where the roads are narrow. Just down past this hill, the ground hill, it's washed out probably two feet wide by mm. 30, 40 feet mm. long. Just past my house, it's washed out the same. Mm -hmm. Right across from my house, the ditch, the bank is this much higher than the road. The water can't even get off. Can, can, can. You know, it seems like we get we got up there. I know we are far away. We're out of the way, but still, there's quite a few people mm -hmm. live there. Mm -hmm. A lot of people live up there. Yeah. Now. Do roadside mowing, does that get subcontracted out? No. no. We purchased mm -hmm. a 56,000 somewhat arm that's attached to our loader. Yeah. So, no. Okay. Well, so they were, uh, where it's dangerously um, narrow, is that on the steep part? Or That's on Cape Brook, Cape yeah. Brook. Ball State, Brown Hill, Brown just Hill. below uh, Isaacs, just before the turnaround. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much one way there because of the ditch. Mm -hmm. And just past my house by Brens, mm -hmm. that's basically one way because it's washed out on the road. I you know the grader was up there just a few weeks ago when I was up there on that dog business. Hmm? No, it was Peter. It was Peter. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Anyways. So, you want me to respond? Please. Yeah. Uh, I was up there today. Yeah. And there, the area is right. There are two spots that are washed mm -hmm. that are way on the side of the road. And we didn't get to them when we were up there. We had a major washout 
down on Cape Cod near the town line yeah. that we did fix. A couple of times, right? A couple of times, yeah. right. Um, and as far as the narrow road, I don't know what you're going to do about that. I mean, what's your suggestion to that? Because you've got a bank on one side and you've got a brook on the other. Unless so, you push the brook back where it was. I mean, because Peter brought it out, the bank out into the road. I mean, if you built it back out. It's a, it's a ditch beside the road for carrying the water. No, where it has to be there. Where the brook is. That brook, if you look at the line, you can see that he brought the ditch and stone right out into the road. It didn't go back to the line where it was before. Are you talking where we added on to that? Where the, no, where the cone's been set since July. Right. Okay. Right across from Bud Jones's project. Gotcha. Right. So again, the brook is right there. That's right. one of the spots. <coughs> Don't interrupt me here. Right. Okay. You have a turn, Doc. Give me a turn. Right there at that spot, there's a brook that runs right down alongside the road, and we hardened it with stone. Mm -hmm. Did the best we could. That day, we were in a rush to get out of there. It came to be four o'clock. We were getting out of there. Mm -hmm. I put a cone there because it, it is, it's a low shoulder. So it's one of those things that we have to go back to. There's many things out there. Mm -hmm. We had a flood yeah. the last two years in a row. Mm -hmm. So, and yes, you are a far ways away. It's, right. it's challenging to get up there to drive the grader for 10 miles to get there. So there are gonna be little spots like that that we have to go back to, totally get it. I will say, and haven't been forgotten because all these conversations have been happening during the road commissioner's report mm -hmm. about West Woodbury right. particularly. So it's, it's not a case of being forgotten. Um, I think it's just a case of big, uh, uh, unique sum two summers of heavy, heavy rain. And the roadside mowing, I think you kind of, I don't want to speak for Alfie, but I would think that there's a certain prioritization of work that needs to happen. And the roadside mowing would probably take a lower priority than f fixing roads so they're passable. Well, we all that. The yeah. brush is also coming out the road. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. For you sure. Know, yeah, you're in a hurry, but. How about every time you come up there, you guys are in a hurry. You did the culverts by Mike Halls, and they're all washed right in the end because they didn't get bagged. I got pictures of everything if you want to see it. It's there are many pictures. I've seen it. I was there today right. because I see your name on the on the agenda. So I'm like, okay, well, what what's mm -hmm. going on? What have I missed? I drove up there special today, and I see the few spots that you mentioned where it's washed out. Right, and those are way on the side of the road. They are something that needs to be fixed, I agree. But they are not the highest priority. And out beyond your house, there's something that needs to be done there. There's water that's that's way out of the right of way that's causing all that problem. So that means that we gotta go talk to the landowner. We have to go onto their property to channel that water away from our road. That's a mm. process. Mm. And it's not the highest priority right now while we've got our roads that are, that are you know, some of them are still not passing. So just, we'll get there. We will get there. I, I think, Harry, you, the person that has been in this was in this seat before, you should call me and let's have a conversation. But these guys don't need your time wasted. Come talk to me. I'll be happy to I'll come. Talk to you. It doesn't do any good. But Jones that is not true. That Bud is not Jones true. Jones said he talked to you and it didn't do any good. Uh, who's Bud Jones? He owns a property right across from where you fixed that. He said he talked to you about doing proper, putting that rock in the road right, and you just said, no, we don't have time. He was going to be here tonight, but he had a meeting up with the light department. Okay, well, I don't, I'm not familiar with who he is, so. Uh, so for one, the roads aren't getting caught up to where they need to be. There's no overtime that's happened, we have one hour of overtime for the 2023 flooding. The select board at this point, I feel, and I could be told to shut up at any moment, that either contracting out for somebody else to do it, to have it done, so we get caught up. I know that's not what you want to hear, but we're renting a piece of equipment that's over six grand a month, and it's still sitting by the road for four days in a row, or ever how long it is with no overtime. Seems like roadside mowing is something that could be 
maybe somebody else with a big tractor could do that. <laughs> but anyways, the um, Cape Brook Road, well, there's that place I talked to you about that's really kind of scary, and I thought maybe it would be a good place to have some guardrails, but if it keeps washing out, maybe guardrails aren't going to work. Guardrails are fine, but you have zero money in your budget. I know, I know, but maybe so, something but that in is the future. A, a, likely candidate for guardrails mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. It's a corner, it's a brook, it's quite a drop off. Mm -hmm. Guardrails definitely are, are a fix there. But you have no money yeah. in the budget no, for that. So can I make a suggestion that, because um, I feel like we've heard your concerns this day, like we heard what Alpha said, and that during the Road Commission's report, maybe we can talk about how you're feeling about whether, I mean, we can discuss it at that time whether there is a need to subcontract out some of this work or whether you're feeling like you guys got it. Well, and we don't have to talk about it right now, but just in, you know, so that we can get to norm. But so we're just not like uh, confusing all these different issues with, you know, Mr. Daly's. Sure. Um, um, I'm just wondering. It would probably make sense if can you give some kind of a time frame? Do you have a sense of that on you know when? You're getting back up there. Yeah. Well, just to I mean, in my report, I would have told, told, told some of this stuff, but mm -hmm. the excavator that Randy speaks of is going back tomorrow. We had to have that for the bridge. Mm -hmm. The bridge is done. Now it's going back, so we won't have an excavator sitting still. The man that was in that excavator can now maybe be in a grader. Mm -hmm. So it's all a process. And I, that's what I'm saying. Here, yeah. you should know if anybody. There's you overtime, should know this. though. There's overtime. There's Brandy, three uh, full time people. Brandy, I, 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 think it, I think you are right. I think it is maybe not the moment. Gotcha. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, what are you and saying? So, there are guys that want overtime. You want us to have overtime? What are you saying? I want the jobs caught up. Our roads are bad. They haven't. Cabot Road hasn't been great. Have you driven around other towns lately? I mean, come on. It's not just Woodbury. I don't pay taxes to other towns. I pay okay. taxes. Here. Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask yeah. that we that we move on to the next agenda item. Thank you. Heard what you're saying, mm -hmm. and um, we'll talk to Alfie yeah. during the road commissioner's report. But I think we're going to move on with the new cool. agenda item at the moment. Um, Norm. Um, Get to follow that uh, with, sure. with the L LHMP. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> the 129-page one. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. Oh my gosh. I thought it was good. Well, we're not printed out. And of course, that's three of the three members. Um, the uh, but I'll be I'll be brief. I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on and. Or expound upon things if you like, but the uh, uh, basically what went on is uh, you know with the latest um, latest problems with uh, with the disaster declaration, um, the town is, is going to be looking to get some reimbursement for some of the costs, and the uh, uh, you get a higher rate of reimbursement if there's an LHMP in place. There wasn't one in place, so we got 30 days from the declaration day to get one submitted to Vermont Emergency Management. So that puts a crunch on everything mm -hmm. in terms of time, especially the consultant who's working on four towns and now have a 30 day deadline for all of them. Yeah, the um, same deadline, right? <laughs> yeah, but, um, but, the, but so I just wanted to explain what the process is. I sent out you know, the latest draft um, and we've been working on the pieces of it, the latest, the latest piece of Section 5, which is really has, has some of the real meat in it, um, what, we haven't had a chance to review yet. So that just came out. Uh, we're going to be meeting with the consultant, uh, Paul Luciano, on Thursday, to come to our meeting, and we'll be going over some of that stuff. And it's, um, it, it's, hard, it's a hard thing to do to try to meet FEMA requirements and mm -hmm. um, and while well, we were right there. <laughs> so um, that's, that, that's the main goal. So uh, 
what's going to happen now is um, we're going to meet on, on Thursday. We'll have some more revisions to get back to the consultant. So he'll uh, implement those, and it has to be submitted to Vermont Emergency Management by the 19th. Um, before then, we'll be putting something out on front porch form to see if anybody is interested in seeing a draft copy. And they'll have my contact information and Luciano's contact information if they want uh, us to email that. Maybe before, maybe you should warn them before they hit print, it's going to be 129 pages. I, don't, I do that too often. Yeah, well, that, that's a good point, sure. <laughs> you know, it makes sense. So, so that's what's, um, <clears throat> that's the first piece. Then it gets submitted to Vermont Emergency Management and uh, according to Paul, it takes about three months for them to get back with uh, questions or revisions or something. And during that time, <clears throat> you can modify, your, uh, you can add and subtract. And you have the opportunity mm -hmm. to, to um, redo. And so it's not one and done at that point. Mm -hmm. It's the process now to do that. And then, then when you get there, uh, typically they'll come up with some points that they want to address. And Paul said that usually mm -hmm. can turn that right around and it goes back. And then it goes to FEMA for them to approve it. And then it goes to your your board for adoption, oh. right. or our board, I suppose. But but the deadline has been met at that point. So during those three yeah. months of review and yeah. all that, yeah. we're still safe as far as the uh, deadline for okay. submission. Okay. So Michael, is that uh, John? Is that about right? Sounds good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, and you know, all of you are welcome to memorize mm -hmm. the thing, and I can test you on it. And, See, but I don't think, uh, <laughs> don't think it's the best use of your time. No, yeah, that chart that came out today, wow, I couldn't read it. I could have get yeah, a magnifying got, glass or something. Yeah, so, <laughs> well, there's one other piece to mention, and that is um, <clears throat> we've uh, talked about creating a, a simpler version mm -hmm. for public distribution, kind of like we did when we did the Lake Study years ago. To have one that's readable and understandable and, mm -hmm. and maybe cover some additional points that won't be submitted to FEMA, but mm -hmm. will have something that's more useful for mm -hmm. civilians. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Thank you. Okay, thanks. thanks, Norm. That was a long document. <laughs> it's kind of peculiar. I memorized the poem. Thank you, Norman. Thank you. You're not leaving, are you? I think I would add one thing, Norman, is that what we've been talking about and this pared down version is um, kind of meeting that end. Is we want to actually have a document that doesn't just get put on a shelf and forgotten mm. about, which is what happened the last time. Um, is to actually have something that um, a group of people in town can work mm -hmm. from. Because um, there are different goals within um, the, the LHMP that um, the town, the select board really should be reviewing it once a year to see if any of these goals have been met. Um, that didn't happen mm -hmm. last time. Mm -hmm. um, and I was on the select board and will admit that um, I knew that, but it didn't happen. <coughs> Um, so this pared down version that Norman is talking about is it would be more like a layperson's working document that the town can use to to try to be better, better prepared for um, an emergency. Hazards, yeah. So that we might know who to call about getting the school open when people are trying to use it as an emergency mm -hmm. shelter mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So That sounds like it would be really useful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th another thing is... Um, <clears throat> I almost made it happen. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if the, the, if the town or if you have a, a particular file to remind, to schedule like a year ahead for Slackman's meeting and, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, what needs to be on the schedule, but if you had such a thing, either a calendar or a particular file that, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a year out or the whatever interval, it should appear that this should get reviewed. Yeah, and the same with the LAMP, the Local Emergency Management Plan, mm. which has to be re renewed annually. Um, and rather than get behind, if you had a calendar looking forward or, or a type of file of some sort, it would come up. Mm. And probably a bunch of other things. Mm -hmm. 
might be useful. Yeah. <laughs> is there a town calendar on the website? Mm, I don't no, think so. Not. There is. Oh, really? Oh, really? Hey, and can yeah. we set no. oh, on that? Can you set like a recurring date? Sure. Hmm. That might be a place oh. yeah. we would have to start using it. You yeah. would. That's, <laughs> That's a tricky part. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Another, yeah. another agenda item. <laughs> yeah. Well, we should put that on a future agenda. Mm -hmm. um, calendar of recurring events. We also have committees. Well, that's part of their job, right? To keep track of, I mean, it's not like you finish your job and then you're not on the committee anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, basically, yeah, that is what happens. It, yeah. it is a committee for the purpose of creating. Mm -hmm. Forever and ever. Yeah, that is the best thought to like emergency management director. That's they right. Yeah. Yeah. To deal with. Which is the portion of the Which is a nice segue. Mm -hmm. to sure. So John. Um, Norm updated the emergency management plan last year. Um, I've been having some conversation with various folks to try to put some bits and amendments into this one that would maybe be more um, to flesh it out. Um, but in the meantime, it needs uh, re-upped. So I went ahead and just filled in the relevant information mm -hmm. so that we could go ahead and potentially re-up the thing rather than wait for the other bits and pieces, because um, right now it's expired. Um, so mm -hmm. I did send the draft to Guy Owens and some of the rest of you as well. I've got copies here. Right now it's a bare bones thing, basically the same thing as we had adopted last year, only with the contact information of the entities in it mm -hmm. um, updated. So um, just recommend that we go ahead and adopt that so we have one in place for the various requirements. And then as uh, the other aspects, if any of them get flushed out, we can add that and we can bring them to the select board as a development with the various entities. So there will come a point where you'll hand it to us to adopt, or well, let um, me know to put it on the agenda. So you, I could hand it to you tonight, huh. and and you can adopt it. I've done the training, so I, I get to put my little name on it since yeah. I have to do that to put my little name on it. Um, you also have it electronically. You could uh, sign it electronically as a mm -hmm. chair and send it back mm -hmm. to me. So, but right now it's pretty bare bones. Um, and it's just, uh, it's just basically the same things that we've had in the past on like I said, with the, uh, mm -hmm. with the various bits and bobs up to date. Do you think we should have an agenda item to approve it, or Robin's got her hand up? Oh, Robin. We have switched over to CV, CV Fiber at the office, and one of the things that we can do with that is get remote access to the telephone messages at the office, and you're probably able to do it at the garage too. So then, when there's an emergency, we can dial in remotely, get the messages, and oh. we don't have to worry about getting up to the office. Mm -hmm. Good. That's awesome. I think, John, do you mind leaving that with us, sure. and then we or can rather electronically. I can email it when I get home. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. Either, either, either yeah. is good for yeah. me. Yeah. You have copies, or do you want to? Um, I have copies. Might, I'd take a paper copy. I would copy. take a paper copy also. Just to. So I guess it does matter to Thank me. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. as a board. Tweak it after. Right. What's up? Even if they sign it tonight, we still have time to tweak it in advance. Well, my in my understanding is it's we treat it as a living document. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably should treat it as a living document. So whether if, if the board wishes to adopt it as is and then continue, I think that it would be better treated as a facility document versus one thing that is standard. Mm -hmm. Now this is the same date as far as September 19th. This is totally different. No, this is this is different. This was just a, there wasn't one and then norm updated. It was expired and then norm updated the last summer after the flood, and now. It, 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 so it's not 
um, it's not the same. It's just passive. I would be inclined to put this on the agenda for next meeting, if that's okay. I can't imagine that two weeks is going to be uh, a big deal for us to take a second to look at this I'm and okay to that. Yeah. have Diana sign it after we approve it. Is it? John, do you have a key to the office? Is that all right with you? Um, no. Okay. 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 So we had a bunch of emergency supplies delivered. Mm -hmm roughly about four boxes of suits, masks. As of right now, they're just in our lobby area. Where would you like those if there was an emergency since you don't have a key to get to this stuff? Well, um, that was going to be a question because there was a key and we didn't ever get it back. Is that, did we, did we ever get a key back? Nope, you cannot find it. So we probably should change the locks and um, Issue new keys. So I guess it depends on if if, uh, if there's going to be another key, would uh, eventually you rather will be one. You will get there one. in the office. I don't think this okay. My house is small. All right. We will <laughs> get the call and get the locks changed. And uh, yeah, because there's over 20 some odd keys to that office that are spread out right now, mm. which is kind of scary. Mm. Robert, I think you asked me at one time who we used to replace that lock before. <laughs> and I remember going to a guy in Williamstown and waiting to have all those keys made. And it's probably not. I don't know why it was that person, but I don't know why it should be so difficult. But anyway. Okay. Okay. So you want to wait? I mean, it's either that or we take the time to go through it right now, having not gone through it at all. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. no. all you did was change a couple of names. Yeah. All I did was change names and phone yeah. numbers and email addresses. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. Really, where you put the, the for our purposes, where you would put the meat of it, if there were specifics, would be in the amendments. You just okay. section out mm -hmm. the amendments and attach mm -hmm. those to a reference thing. Did you get my note about adding the Harbor Gary Food Pantry under the section of people who need help? No, I just I saw that. I just no. <laughs> you had the, heart, the, the Woodbury Food Pantry was listed. Yeah, they do, they do use this document and emergency management and stuff. Mm -hmm. The very people involved, all happens and all that for contact information. Mm -hmm. So it's good to. I mean, I, did, I just had a chance to look through it and um, okay if you want to approve it right now, too. There is a also. We can wait. There. I would be fine with approving it now based on you're more of an expert on this than we are. So I would trust that you filled it out better than I'm ever going to fill it out. Well, my intention would be that we would, as we would go ahead and update it as we go as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Living document. Yeah. 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 I would just recommend that we get it checked off so we don't have any mm -hmm. gaps to make the other people at various other places unhappy with it. There's a, one section here, and the sections don't seem to be. Oh, it's under number two. Uh, potential EOC staff members. It says other select board members, but then you didn't name them, so maybe you want to add those names. Yeah, I'll make a motion that we approve this living document, the local emergency management plan, and ask Diana to do the our select board chair sign it. Second that motion. Is there any discussion? All those in favor? Please say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously, so we can have Diana sign it and hand it right back to you. Uh, could you um, just put your name on the electronic one and email it back to me? Because that's acceptable. And then Maybe. I'll have to scan it and stuff. <laughs> if I can figure out how to do it, sure. You just type your name. You don't have to. Oh. Oh, OK. You just type your name and then email it back. And then everyone goes and says, well, did Diana really approve this? So let's have the email. And we have the minutes from that. Yeah. OK. So, yeah. Thank you, John. Sure.
Um, okay, the next item is the road commissioner's report. And I wonder, as I've been sitting here, I wonder if it makes sense um, in the future if we bump the road commissioner's report up a little bit into, in the agenda so that um, you have an opportunity to kind of head things off at the pass, speak to, um, you know, you'd still see things on the agenda, but be able to speak uh, about items before, um, you know, and then people could still ask questions and still, uh, but you give a little background and a little context. It's just a suggestion. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Well, usually people that are, you know, in and out on a specific issue, I usually put them you know, yeah. ahead on the agenda after the closure. But it might, after, it might be worthwhile for all of those folks still to be able to sit and listen to the road commissioner's report, mm -hmm. um, even if, you know, they only have mm -hmm. a, a specific item. Mm -hmm. It's my opinion. But that would be my suggestion. Turn it over to you, Alfie. Okay. Uh, so we spent a fair amount of time on the bridge. As everybody knows, I've heard some comments that it took too long and that it's too much time spent. But anyway, it's now done. Um, I think it looks great. The person that lives there seems to be very happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, I actually raised it up from its existing elevation. I raised it 18 inches. That'll help with future water events. Because not so much of the brook water, yep. but the road water. Okay. Water mm. was running down the driveway, and that's what caused oh. to wash out the back side of the abutment. Oh. And so raising it up, mm -hmm. now we can raise the driveway, the, the road will go to the, mm -hmm. the water will go to the sides of the road and not down the middle. Mm -hmm. Had that been had the road been maintained a little bit prior to this. We would not have had to work on that bridge. Mm -hmm. But the water ran down the side of down the middle of the road and it made its way behind the abutment. Mm -hmm. And it eroded all the, the stone and, and rubble that's behind it. Mm -hmm. But you mean that small section of the road before you get to the bridge? No, the other side. As soon as you cross the bridge from there. Oh. Uh, oh okay. That's oh, where all the water was. Okay. Oh down. okay. Not up the main road. Okay. Right. So mm -hmm. that was my reasoning for raising it up. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't cost much. There was a few concrete blocks and the time was already had to be spent. Mm -hmm. uh, because the components, which was only some granite, <coughs> some boulders, mm -hmm. was all that consisted of. So, uh, we had to put a walking bridge in. I decided that we needed to put a walking bridge in there to allow lady to walk across while we were doing the work. Uh, I ended up purchasing a hunk of steel from Gate Salvage that worked great for it. Me and Peter built side rails on it so that mm. it's safe. We can use it for the next two bridges that are in line or if this happens again, which is inevitable. Mm. Uh, I think that was a money well spent. Mm -hmm. And now it's well, over at the, you have to bring it back and store it somewhere? It's out of town garage now. Oh. Yeah. No. Uh, so it's there available for any other emergency, uh, a resident to stuff mm -hmm. in their house or who knows, whatever. And how much was that? Uh, the, the hunk of steel was $1,200. Oh. And Deal. Uh, we had to buy some lumber and some mm -hmm. fasteners. Uh, came from pool and lumber. Uh -huh. Receipts are all in the office. Oh. Um, so that is finished. Mm. Uh, today I went and looked at Nichols Ledge. I mean, no, Nichols Ledge is done also. We did that last week, one day. One day that uh, Peter was out. So I was shorthanded. It seemed to make sense for two guys to go to mm -hmm. Nichols Ledge. That's mm -hmm. up to snuff. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Didn't you say the previous week, the first week you were out at the bridge, you only had two people? That's 
why it didn't That's right. move too fast. Right. You told me that. So. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that, that week that I started that, I was, it was only one EP there were the only ones there mm -hmm. for the whole week. So, yes, indeed, it took a while. And part of the reason why we're not rating, why we're not, you know, fixing some mm -hmm. of these other smaller uh, ordeals. Mm -hmm. Uh, I looked at the rail trail today because that seems like probably the next victim. Mm -hmm. um, that's a quick fix. I think, I know we talked about putting a header on that culvert. I mm -hmm. think at this point we just fill it in and hope for the best. You know, and then because the snow machine trail uh, is on my case about it, they want to see it fixed. Um, and I think. A quick fix is just to fill the void in with gravel and go about our business. You can get down to some of the other things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. Uh, today we started a grant project uh, that Michael and I prioritized. Mm -hmm. It's uh, East Hill. So I'm hoping by the end of this week that will be done. Um, hopefully we make it before get the paperwork in before the deadline, which I know is coming right up. Mm. Well, the deadline, the paperwork doesn't have to, doesn't need to be in until the end of the year. So it's just oh, okay. the work needs to be done just by the end of September. Okay. So is it end of September? Yes. Oh, okay. September 30th. So we are set. Yeah. I was thinking it was like 15 or something. So. No. Uh, so my, my hopes is to get that grant done and finish the grant that's on county road, which both are under uh, extension. Mm -hmm. So I would like to get those done and get that money coming back. What are about those projects? Are they, they are those culvert projects or what are they're, those? They're better back, better back roads grants, so oh. it's ditching, culverts, uh, all of that. Okay. Um, Robin had mentioned before you got here that she took a call about a culvert on East Hill Road. I was curious if that was what you were working on. Um, she could probably describe where it was better than me, but when... Do you know where the Comex box is up there that Mayo's use for their yep. sugaring? Yep, we will have that done too. Well, he said up the road from there, there is a culvert that's plugged on the right-hand side going up. Okay. And he thinks that's what washed his up, and he says he's more than willing to help. Yeah, well, that is partially what washed his out. What really washed his out were the two culverts above, up by the intersection, which are now changed okay. uh, to much larger. Those are two of the culverts that we put much larger culverts okay. in. Mm -hmm. That problem, I think, is fixed. Mm -hmm. uh, he stopped and talked to my guys today about fixing in front of his connex box. Right. And that we are going to do. But that's, but that's like a driveway. It's like... It's not a road, it's not a town road. Is, is that the town's responsibility to fix culverts on people's well, driveways? I mean, it's, 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 it's touchy. I mean, it's, the snow machine trail runs through it. Um, it goes right through that washout. Mm -hmm. It is water that came from the town road, mm -hmm. whether it was further up well, or yeah. that one that he's mentioning. Yeah. It's town mm -hmm. water. Mm -hmm. So I feel like, yes. Um, we are going to do it as cheap as possible. Mm -hmm. Some of the some of the debris and gravel that washed down the hill, mm -hmm. we're cleaning out those ditches. That I'm going to carry mm -hmm. back up and put in the bottom of that washout, mm -hmm. and then I can just surface it with a thin layer of gravel. Mm -hmm. so, I noticed you got a nice collection of used culverts over there at the garage. So, yeah, <laughs> well, I had a lot more, but people are people are helping. Oh, look, good. She can fine. use them, yeah, yeah right, really. Right. So Better than going to the junkyard. Usable, but yeah. yeah, in the fall here, when I get caught up, I'll send those to the junkyard. Yeah. Because they're, I don't want them there for the winter. Yeah. They're just getting away. <laughs> so, yeah. um, so, my priority are those two grants. That's my priority right now. And in between, if I get some grading done, great. Is so, one of them on East Hill? Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. one of those grants is on his hill, which contains three, either two or three cars. Really? Oh. Yeah, so we got to dig them up and replace mm -hmm. them. Uh, so, I guess that's all I had on my list to talk about. Uh, no, there's, there's one more. Uh, mm -hmm. 
given the fact that it takes a year or year and a half to get a truck, our 2014, mm. we need to start thinking about ordering one because the day you order it, you're at least a year before you receive it. And so I just want to put that on your radar mm. to think about when we want to order it, when we want to, you know. Mm. Is this a conversation you guys have had before I came on the board? I think we've had it a few times, but it wasn't the highest priority vehicle at the time, right? Right. I'm, yeah. just, I'm just wanting you to know that it's, it's a year, year and a half before you get a truck. Mm -hmm. It's a 2014. It's already 10 years old. Mm -hmm. I don't, we don't want a 12 year old truck in our feet. We just don't. Mm -hmm. So, um, the last Which time. We ordered the new truck. I think Chuck was doing that work, Chuck Batchelder, and um, we got money from. Do we have money in our hmm. highway reserve fund anymore? Do to do from? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is the last page of your financial statement. Mm -hmm. $9,305.53. Whoa, that's not going to buy a set of tires. No, but when we get to, uh, what? No, we we bought a grader last year. That's right, we bought the grader and there was another truck. Yep. There was the 550 or whatever. Yeah. So um, even when we get paid back from FEMA, it's not going to go in there, right, unless we put it in there. After school has been paid for the ninety thousand every year that we budget from the highway to go into the herd. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll go there. You ain't buying anything with ninety grand. No. So So what what are we talking about just roughly for an, a new a, a replacement truck? Uh roughly with all the equipment it's about two hundred thousand. Okay. So that would I'm not saying we want to buy a truck tomorrow. That's not yeah, yeah. anywhere near yeah, yeah. what I'm suggesting. Yep. No, but I you're saying we should order one soon so we get it. I, I want to start talking about it and thinking about it. Maybe in a year we'll have another 90000 mm -hmm. <laughs> I just know it takes a long time to get yeah. one. One, to order it, and then yeah. two, to get the equipment put on. Mm -hmm. So I just want to start the ball rolling now so that we're not waiting on the truck. Currently, that truck is doing its job, but well, it's broke right now. It's going to the shop tomorrow. Okay. But, um, is it nickel and diving us? It's gonna start. Yeah. It's the 14. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the one we just in June, I think it was, came back from the shop. It was thirty-five hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. It was just minutes. You know, just a bunch of different repairs. Yep. So just putting it on your radar. I, I'm not saying that we need mm -hmm. it this desperately. I just know what, what, what length of time it takes to get a truck. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Would you go to the same dealer, the same model? I mean, the same make? Um, I'm interested in looking at different mm -hmm. different options. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, it's going to come to money. I mean, it always yeah. does. Well, we, when we bought the other truck, after it was all over and done, one of the auditors said, hey, did you uh, do the purchasing policy thing? <laughs> well, we didn't because there's just too many, you know, too many things choose to choose to go out to bid. So, right. go out. Just so I can get educated a little bit, because we have the equipment fund, does that rule still apply? Good question. I Maybe think probably yes, fund. but money's yeah. already, money's already I know. approved. Money's up, yeah. So yeah, so but the me. purchasing policy is about competitiveness and giving mm -hmm. everybody a chance to bid, <laughs> like all our Vermont truck manufacturers, <laughs> and uh, getting the best price, but. <laughs> If yeah. there's not a lot yeah. of not a lot a lot of dealers to go to, then it doesn't make any sense. Right. Well, in the past, uh, I've never 
I'm not bothering this truck for the town of Woodbury. Mm -hmm. But in the past, I have always gotten three, three or even four mm -hmm. quotes from mm -hmm. different vendors. Yeah. Uh, and then the board decides. Yeah. To me, it's not always about the cheaper price. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. I don't think that's a requirement. If I'm no. Wrong. no, it's Fair not. Bit, right? No. Yeah. So just to get it on your yeah. just to Thank you. Okay. thinking about it, and just good. so it doesn't mm -hmm. come as a surprise, and we're not sitting mm -hmm. with one down yeah. truck at the end. Hmm. So then backing up to the conversation we had when Harry was here, um, is it, no, you got a ton on your plate, but is it, uh, are you feeling like this, the projects, to get the roads to the place you want them, you've got the time to do that between now and when it starts snowing? I mean, who knows when it's going to start snowing? Highly doubt that I'll get the roads, the roadside to mow. Yep. That is probably not going to happen mm -hmm. unless we hire somebody to operate our equipment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But even with that, you have a guy out mowing. Now you can't load a truck. Right, right. To fix mm -hmm. a culvert or to fix or do any other project. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. the loader's tied up. Mm -hmm. It's happened. It's happened. I've had the mower on a couple of times this year, and I want to go fix a washout somewhere. Oh, I can't load the truck. And I'm not necessarily concerned about the, the, the roadside mowing, but I mean, the other more, uh, you know, getting back up to West Woodbury to, to fix some of those roads before winter, stuff like that, that, you know, yes. I think roadside mowing people will understand. It could be wrong. It but, seems less of a priority to me than yeah. just like grading and filling right. in mm -hmm. washouts and stuff. So I wanted to get an idea. And also, mm -hmm. uh, presumably hauling sand for the... We still have sand to haul. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. all of that together, are you feeling like that's something that the three of you guys are going to be able to accomplish. I, I do. Okay. I mean, I do. Yep. I think that we mm -hmm. can get it to to a point where we can plow. Yeah. I mean, West Woodbury is one day. I can go up there and fix those issues that he mentioned in okay. one day. Yeah. It's a couple of trucks bringing gravel in the ground. <coughs> yeah. I drove them roads today. After I see them on the agenda, I went and drove it. I don't see that there's a huge problem. There's two spots that he did mention. Yes, they are. They are a little rough. Yep. But mm -hmm. they are far from a danger. Far from it. If it was a danger, I'd have cones there. I would have. I would be fixing. Mm -hmm. Would be higher on my list. But I will put it on higher on our list because mm -hmm. now he's brought it to our attention. Mm -hmm. I will get up there as soon as I can. Yep. As I said, we're ditching, we're changing culverts. It takes at least two guys for that. Mm -hmm. And some days, some weeks, we only have two guys. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I can't, it's, it's hard to juggle, you know, two or three different jobs at, at a time. Yep. Mm -hmm. But I will get up there and fix the roads that he's, the issues that he's mentioning. Yeah, and I don't, I'm, I'm not suggesting that because somebody comes in and every time somebody comes in and has a comment to make that we automatically jump to fix that problem. All I'm suggesting is, or just wanted to get a gauge and a feeling from you, like, because I would imagine that it's overwhelming. Um, well, whether you are looking for help from subcontractors or not. Right. Yeah. I, I don't think so. Okay. Because it creates even more work for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because now I yeah. gotta I gotta follow him, him the, the contractor around, tell him how I want it, tell yeah. him how you know. Mm -hmm. I, I would rather not. Yeah. I yeah. don't think we're in a desire this desperate state right now. Um during the flood, maybe we probably should have hired some help for that. Mm -hmm. This most recent. Yeah. 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 But we did. Mm -hmm. And now here we are. I feel like we've kept up with these roads pretty well, given the circumstances. And you can look at any other town around. I don't care mm. if it's north or south. We're all in the same boat. We're yeah. all behind. We're all shorthanded. Mm. We're all in the same same boat. Um, and the fact that a road is one way, I mean... How often do you meet a car? That's a, that's a total <laughs> exaggeration. I haven't seen anything up there that was to that condition. Yeah. I, I but even mm -hmm. 
Well, it sounds like it's going to get addressed anyways. Mm -hmm. So, um, right. Alfie, do you have a sense of timing on that? I know you said that grant work is a priority, um, and I'm just wondering because, like, I've been hearing comments from people too about, you know, like when is this sort of going to get graded? Um, do you have any kind of a like a time frame that you could give? Well, I'm hoping East Hill grant will be done this week. Yep. Mm -hmm. And next week I will be on the on the county road. Okay. So yeah, after that we will be focusing on grading and prepping and um, and sand off. So a couple weeks. I would say a couple weeks. I mean, okay. Is there a road in particular that? Um, about? I, mean, I drove your road today and there's some potholes there. There's, sure. yeah, I mean, just from my own personal driving, I feel like all the roads are pretty similar. The one I've specifically heard complaints about, and I drove it myself and witnessed it, was um, like Tebbets Road, like, I'm trying to remember if it's before you go under the high drive or after. I can't remember quite where the really bad spot is, but yeah. that's one. Um, but it's not. From what I see driving around, like there are, as you know, like there's still like leftover flood damage, washouts that are not, they're passable, but they're just not like what they were prior to the flood. Um, so I think, I don't think it's isolated to anywhere specific. Right. Uh, I feel like we can get them shaped up before snow flies. Okay. I will admit to that. Okay. Unless we get another belly wash. Mm -hmm. it, it could happen any time. Let's cross our fingers. <coughs> ahead. For sure. We're doing the best we can. Yeah. Yeah. No, you guys are doing a good job. I mean, one yeah. guy has got Lyme disease, and he is, his aches, his his joints ache. So he comes to work every day, mm -hmm. but it's taking a lot out of him. Yeah. Mm. That's not so good. So I'm not here to make excuses, but it's just the fact that people should know. Mm -hmm. We're not sitting sitting on our hands. Understood. Thanks. Mm. Well, I was going to report on the issue of Kirkscrew Road, and I think I sent you all what I found from the state statute. It seems pretty clear that what that was, it was never on the town, it was never on the state maps. So I'm pretty sure it's what they call uh, an unidentified corridor. Back in 2010 or so, when the state legislature got, I don't know, I don't remember, there were some court cases about people who had built, and then they found out that they had built in the middle of a road. And so they went, the state went through this whole process where, um, Towns could decide to uh, sort of recoup re, uh, some roads that had gone by the wayside, but we never did. I know Callis did a lot of work trying to make sure that they didn't lose any town any, uh, unidentified or yeah, unidentified corridors. There was an opportunity to uh, for a town to bring an unidentified unidentified corridor up to class four standards. Uh, and if it didn't happen, they weren't added to the map by some time in 2015, then they were um, discontinued by statute. So I think that's where that uh, Corkster Road stands. And, if, and Skip, after the last meeting, we had a map, but since then, uh, Robin did find that uh, the road was uh, adopted by the town through the through the usual whatever the legal process was at that time. I don't know if you have a copy of that, but uh, you want a copy of that? No. Okay. He said no. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Oh, you did see it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Read the Constitution. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you can read script. Huh? You're that old. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty rude. Well, it's true. I mean, that's a good thing to be able to read script. You also have to have good eyesight, which I can't really. And 
so from the time so unless some of the letters are different from the script that yeah there were we f's and s's before. and things like that that are different so anyways skip if you want to take those pieces of evidence and well, show them to what is he designated now i think we had this discussion a couple of weeks ago yeah what is did. the road designated now but it's not on the town maps. We always, for some That's reason, we... That's not question. Okay. What yeah. is it designated? Not designated. Okay. Not on any okay. town map, and it doesn't have a name, and it doesn't have a number, but for some reason, we always thought it was a town road, and we went and we replaced the bridge, I don't know how many years ago, if it was before or after this whole... Um, uh, so if I can recall our discussion ancient a couple weeks ago... <laughs> FEMA will compensate the repairs in class three and class four mm -hmm. roads on roads that are unidentified or pent roads. They won't. Mm -hmm. You know, I could make a case, I could send this mm -hmm. to them, mm -hmm. and that would be you know, a lot of good usage of my time, I think, nor of FEMA's. Mm -hmm. When we have like a couple of hundred thousand dollars out there waiting for them to send to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This left would, would like me to utilize my time like that. I could do that. Oh. You, you don't feel like because it's not going to make a difference, right? We have this map here. I'm not sure if it's 111 or. Well, on that map, it says it's a pent road. Yeah, this is the map right. we were looking at last at the last yeah. meeting. Step. Does the fact that there is a history of us putting work into that road make a difference here? Well, it made the difference. I was under the impression that that played a factor. I don't know how to say this. They don't. They don't. They don't look at a pent road as a class four. Mm -hmm. And you know, I could float that by them, but I would have to have. Invoices, mm -hmm. something in Brandy's uh, accounts receivable or payable, saying that yeah, way long ago that you spent Don Woodbury spent X mm -hmm. amount of dollars on a pet road. Uh huh. So absent that, they're not going to take our word for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think it's been that long. It was. I think I was on the select board when Harry Daly repaired that bridge. Mm -hmm. um, it was declared. Um, unsafe by the state inspectors mm -hmm. um, and I see I started on the select board in 2014 I think mm -hmm. so sometime 2014 2015 mm -hmm. um, that bridge was repaired by the town and whether that gives it some kind of standing um, for the work that was done this year or not I'm not well, sure. We sure well two week two meetings ago we did decide that there was enough evidence um, that the town had worked on the road, that we had the obligation to work on it again. Okay. What so evidence that's, was that? What? what? What evidence was that? We, were, we talked about the fact that it had been repaired by the town in the past. Is that anecdotally? No. Or Michael just you, said he remembers. The understanding then is that it was a town road, but um, obviously it was a town road at one time, but then the town let it go. Mm -hmm. But the historical road thing. I remember the town meeting where we voted to right. to yeah, let them go. Let them go. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was enough evidence to convince us that the town should fix the bridge so the lady could get to her house safely. So. So I presume that there are invoices for that work, timesheets. But if, but that's meeting. not the kind of evidence that would convince FEMA. There right? should be if there are invoices. Yeah, yeah. From 2014? Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. How much money are we talking about? We retain seven years on select board orders. Mm. We do not retain tax okay. And I did, I had a different accounting system back then. Okay. I can access the system, but only in uh, certain bits, certain backups. In my memory is that we spent about $10,000 Whatever year it was, and I think the year that that uh, Bo and Cody rebuilt the whole thing, I think, was before that. 
It is interesting that the state would inspect it. Um, yeah, it if is. It was a private bridge. Yeah. Yeah. They would or not. So. Mm. Of course, that was before. That was before. If it was 2014, that was before the 2015 deadline. But so then they might have. I don't know. I was Anyways. curious. Alfie, I think Skip just asked you. Like, do you know how much we have into that project? Uh, I haven't totally done the math, but uh -huh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to estimate around 10,000. Okay. You've got, you've got eight blocks, concrete blocks, and probably eight or ten loads of material. Uh, you've got the walking bridge that we had to put in that might total 1,500 mm -hmm. at most. Uh, but that's really a piece of equipment that's not doesn't have to be part of that budget. Right. If we're going to keep it right. and use it. So again, I'm sure mm -hmm. that you're ten grand or under mm -hmm. for the actual expenses. Yeah. And if you're looking at it from from not going to FEMA, then you don't have to calculate the man time or the machine time for that matter. Mm -hmm. if, if we're trying to make ourselves feel better about spending <laughs> money without FEMA, yeah. uh -huh. I, I, mean, I don't mm -hmm. know what what else we would be doing with this conversation. <laughs> And skip no. it. it sounds like it's not worth yeah. trying to go after no, $10, it. Ten thousand dollars is ten thousand dollars. Right. If the board or Robin or Randy can come up with some sort of evidence, like invoices, uh, you know, timesheets. I know timesheets back in twenty fourteen. You know, Forty hours and sign it. Sign the timesheet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I could pose that. To a FEMA, I could take all that information and say, hey, you know, this is a road, it's called a pen road, it's not a, anything you guys deal with, but we've worked on this before and mm -hmm. see what they say. But absent that, you know, some sort of concrete evidence, because that's what they're looking for mm -hmm. invoices, time reporting, you know, mm -hmm. invoices for equipment usage. You know, they, they're not giving the money away. Mm -hmm. And there would be nothing that we would find i can try i mean okay. the biggest thing i can is the old accounting system we have backups on but it's going to be sketchy yeah. it's going to be sketchy if mm. i can't find anything at all do you mind taking a peek and then and then if, if, yeah. then if you can't find anything this is a moot point then we can so just move the on orange book, in the orange book there is a intersection that says what the towns are responsible for for class four years. so that's some evidence that we gave to fema saying that you know, the orange book from VTrans says that you have to do this work on class four roads. Mm -hmm. Brandy and her system of accounts has uh, information saying that we spent X amount of dollars last year to work on class four roads. There's nothing in the orange book. Mm -hmm. And absent what, you know, the, uh, the, the folks can find for the, yeah. uh, I don't know what's going We'll we have a we have a meeting on Thursday and I can float that by them. Really? Now that the bridge is fixed, she's happy. She sold her property. It says it's a pent road. Can we throw up the throw up the road, the bridge? Well, you know, the other thing it says in here that I thought was interesting is that somebody else who has uh uh who the, the road goes generally if the road is thrown up the uh, land goes back to the people on other, either side but uh, somewhere it says that those people who if, oh a person whose sole, ac sole means of access to a parcel of land or portion thereof owned by that person is by way of a town highway or unidentified corridor that is subsequently discontinued shall retain a private right-of-way over the former town highway or unidentified corridor for any necessary access to the parcel of land or portion thereof and maintenance of his or her right-of-way. But, I don't know, I don't so think we there, there is a person. So we throw the bridge? No, that, no that's not. He said yes. if, if the town goes through a process to... Land, right, the, if there are other landowners, they would have to maintain but this is would have to they would have to but there are others of, there's that fit slot and then it, the access is that same bridge yeah and or they could access it 
on you know where the rail trail goes it right. passes the rail trail right and uh, there's also the uh, lumber company land. Could we just downgrade it to a legal trail instead of a class four road? And I'm sorry. Could we just instead of throwing it up like you guys are saying? I meant the, I meant the expense of the bridge. The, right, but if it was it if it was downgraded to a legal trail, I think this is a little weird because we don't even it's not even necessarily a class four road right now. But if it was a trail, we wouldn't be responsible for bridges and cars, right? But the town would still have ownership of that right of way, but without the expense of maintaining it. Am I correct about that? That's true for the, a trail designation, right? There's no obligation from the town for any maintenance at all. Mm -hmm. okay. So my question is, how, how is this road, now with this information, how is this road any different than the... Well, these are bridges. This is the, these three bridges have killed us the last two years. I'm just I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about the legality of FEMA paying for a rail trail, but not willing to pay for oh. for this one. Good what's, question. What's, what's the difference? I mean, the rail trail is a totally different thing. It's, it is rail trail. It's not it a free. Sorry, but it's not a class four. Well, let's let's skip it. <laughs> the rail trail, we have a, an outstanding lease with Swenson's Quarters. So in that lease, it states that Town of Blueberry is obligated to maintain the, and the rail trail. So we've done that in the past. Hence, with that legal document, we need the lessee. And having the requirement to maintain that, that's all human needs. They need some sort of documentation that says, we're not going willy-nilly to repair the rail trail. Mm -hmm. We're obligated by this legal document to repair it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's different from, and I'm only going to say this one more time, a pen road. Or any any road that's classified under the road system, the V-Trans road system, it's different. If that's your interpretation, that's okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Skip, I don't want to beat a dead horse, I'm, a, I'm about to, but if we had evidence <coughs> of a legal document from the state of Vermont saying that our town had responsibility to fix a bridge, and then we had like select board minutes from the conversation where that was approved from back in 2015. Well, I, could, I could move forward with that if you have that okay. documentation. So if we don't have like the receipts and stuff, but we had that, I'm not saying I have it, but I figure there's probably archives somewhere, right? There, yeah, might be, minutes, there, yeah, there uh -huh. might be state records on the bridge inspection. Um, I don't mm -hmm. know how you would find uh -huh. those, but there are bridge people within the state mm -hmm. department that might have those records. Mm -hmm. um, there probably is something in the select board minutes, um, and I may actually have the minutes from that time period um, about the repair in 2014 mm -hmm. or whatever because I was on a select board and I was the person mm -hmm. doing the minutes. Um, so mm -hmm. I can look for that. I mean, the fact that we repaired it once, 10 years ago, um, and that this, some state department bridge person, you know, um, judged the bridge in need of repair, um, which prompted the town to fix it, that, that work might so help. But it's been repaired more than once. You said so Harry Daly did it, but Blow That's Cody when Harry did Daly did it in 2014. I don't know right. anything about before. Okay, um, but it was done before. So there's it been was. at least two times. Okay, well, I don't know when that was mm -hmm. or yeah, where. Yeah, but that um, would be. Yeah. Um, well, I was on the select board, which was more than 15 years ago. <laughs> okay, well, you look in your own. I will. <laughs> Michael, if you could. If you are able to dig those up, that'd be awesome. I will look. We have okay. minutes. Yeah, we have all the minutes. Mm -hmm. Minutes are available. available. Oh, so yeah. okay. It's just the invoices okay. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we wouldn't have that information, have but from there may be something right. in the minutes that we approve spending mm -hmm. so much money. I mean, I have no idea what's in the minutes mm -hmm. from them, but um, and I can try to find. I can try to find the minutes. Probably can find them quicker on my computer than you could. Find them. I have no idea. Thank you for doing that. No, so we've been before you came on. 
So it sounds like we'll see what we can find. Yeah. We'll present our evidence to Skip, and he'll say yay or nay. No, any, any evidence you can find, I'll just... <laughs> well, you're, we're going to defer. If you think this isn't enough, this isn't going to be good enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not going to waste your time. No. I don't think. No, so I don't want to waste your time either. Yeah. And maybe the fact that we did spend ten thousand dollars before to repair it, maybe that would um, be evidence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll get to FEMA. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we make the case for it. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, that'll um, again. We have a nice segue right into the road recovery uh, recovery officer's report. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that is road recovery. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I think the first sheet of the package I handed out has a, uh, an agenda for the Wednesday FEMA conference that we have these weekly. There it is. Items number one and number two deal with obligated projects. And obligated projects are those projects that have made it through the FEMA snake, which is on page two, mm -hmm. and, and have been sent to the state, and FEMA is indicating that you know all the uh, T's have been crossed, I's dotted, and you should obligate these funds and send them to the town. So, as Brandy reported earlier, these uh, five obligated projects now have been paid, mm. and they total 90027 in funds actually in Brandy, mm. which, is, which is a real milestone. Really? We're, we're getting yeah. projects in process, and these are going through the FEMA, they call it the snake, I call it something else. They're going through the FEMA the snake. The sewer, uh, we're going through the FEMA snake, and uh, you know it's the Woodbury Harbor Rail Trail. Go we'll figure. And Woodler, Foster Hill, etc. There are three or four roads uh, associated with Project 741427. <laughs> They're going through environmental and historic preservation review. It's just something they do. They have to. Every base has to be touched. Wow. Uh, I signed a project. I think last week. That's 741332 for the Woodbury Village here to North and South Park. So we should anticipate in the next couple of weeks having approximately four thousand dollars more obligated for that particular project. Mm -hmm. The other projects that are pending environmental and historic review I should uh, talk about. Those are the permanent fixes for Town Highways 23 and 24, both mitigation projects that are you know, going through uh, the process, FEMA process, and uh, you know, we're just responding to questions about it. That's all we can do. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one, Project 741412, it's North Andy Bell Road, Nichols Pond Road, etc. cetera. Uh, that's in the CRC, Consolidated Resource Center in Puerto Rico. So they're pouring over all our timesheets, material usage, uh, equipment usage, and making sure that project passes their muster. Then they'll pass oh. that on, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, environmental and historic preservation to make sure we're not digging up any archeological sites or whatever, and I move that forward. Uh, Follow up on projects pending initial project development. And these are completed projects. One's for County Road 739504 and Cabot Road 10 and 20, 741411. So the uh, program delivery manager hasn't touched those yet. Hmm. So, and that being said, uh, they're just beginning the process in that snake chart. So it's going to take them at least three months to get through the end. Uh, money's obligated for that. And the last one, follow-up. One project pending initial project development because the project's not completed. And so even though the speed radar signs are installed, 
we need to work for the town offices to be completed by January 14th, 2025. No later than that. So I'll need to know a month before January 14th, 2025, if the work's not going to be completed, mm -hmm. because I'll have to write for an extension. Okay. We should be good. Be the yeah, time. it's been okay. it's been really slow, but hopefully um, once the uh, heating system is finished, and any news on the sheetrock? I'm working with Mike this week, so yeah. as soon as he's done working with me, I'll ask him when he can get to the town office. <laughs> he did take the job, right? He did, yes, and he has. He is fully planning to get to it. He's what? He's yeah. fully planning on doing okay. it. Okay. Yes. You get to January. That's plenty of indoor. Yeah, guys, the carpenters. That's their. In, that's their winter stuff. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, but that's where everything else has to be done after that gets done. Then it's got to be the paper, you know, the taping and the right. painting and the trim <laughs> and all that. And we need to start thinking about. Um, recently we had to get into the batteries and they're all corroded and that's in the main room as where we are so what batteries you mean like a supply like of a set of batteries a whole 24 pack are oh. corroded oh. and they're upstairs yeah. in mm -hmm. the main room where we yeah. are so okay. even just doing a mold test or the heating pump was just a how, how long have those batteries been sitting in that package less than a year mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, page two. Uh, I'm going to resume the will be a discussion of Cabot Road. And who agrees there is a duplication of, of work for category B, which is emergency work, and category C, which is for final repairs. So uh, we don't believe there is duplication of work. So anyhow, that's a discussion we'll have. Mm -hmm. Discussion on the very hard work rail trail. FEMA had some questions, wondering if we were breaking the environmental laws for the state of Vermont by not pulling a stream permit for replacing one of the culverts. So Alfie has done some research on that particular issue, and we are assured that we are not breaking any rules, and that uh, the issue will be cleared up on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Didn't the state sort of suspend different stream rules for the emergency work? Oh, they did. Okay. Yeah. So, and mm -hmm. Alfie's done a uh, good job at that. Mm -hmm. So, I'll have plenty of ammunition for Wednesday. And what's next that we continue with FEMA requests for information and respond as needed. And then something that's kind of hanging over our heads is the initial meeting, which is called a recovery scoping meeting for this new disaster uh, declaration, and that's number 4810-DR-VT. So well, what's going to happen there is we're going to be assigned a new program delivery manager for this project. So we'll be dealing with two PDMGs. So we'll have to train yet another PDMG. So that, that's new here. So if you'd like a real lively conversation, you're welcome to join the Zoom. The credentials mm. are right there on Wednesday at uh, 9 a.m. And uh, I don't know how lively it is. It's pretty dry. But anyhow, you're welcome to join. When do you get the new de uh, project delivery manager? I'm sorry? When, when do they appoint a new? Oh, well, that's when we're going to find out. Oh, that day. You'll meet that person. Oh, no. 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 This is just, you know, I applied for the uh, for the new disaster recovery. Yep. I think I sent an email out to yep. folks indicating that we've been accepted. So we are now an applicant for the new disaster. So now what FEMA has to do is they have to assign the But they'll do that at the Zoom meeting or no? No. Okay. This is just like, okay, who is it going to be? She's going to say, I don't know. When we have a meeting, she's going to say, I don't know. So we got to have a new one just because it's a new disaster yes. declaration? Oh, okay. why not? Yeah, well, <laughs> Full employment. Yeah, because all the forms have changed. Oh, yeah, there, there are new forms mm -hmm. to fill out. Oh, okay. Same information, but different. Mm -hmm. 
advanced work and it's going to be mm. not so bad because we don't have as many projects I'm presuming. That's mm. right. yeah. So it won't be so bad. So uh, yeah, this, this is what FEMA calls the snake chart. And uh, so the of the project you know, is the B arrow here. So when I made this out, I wasn't able to get to my phone this weekend. And Brandy had sent me uh, an image of a check saying that we had received $83,494. So, uh, so far we received over $90,000 from FEMA, which is, I think, mm. a nice milestone. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's great to see some movement. So what we have remaining, now this is all at 75% FEMA reimbursement. We have outstanding monies from FEMA for $150,700. Those are all the projects that have not been obligated. Now at 75%, the state will present us, once everything is gone through FEMA, 12.5% of the total FEMA monies. So that'll be an extra, like, $31,000. Can you say that again? So or explain that once again. Once FEMA sends us all the money, the mm -hmm. state looks at the aggregate. The state will look at $240,727 and send us 12.5% of that, which is approximately $31,000. Okay. So we can expect a total for this. 75% from FEMA, 12.5% from the state, to receive a total of $270,837. So the remaining funds out there, including state and federal, at 75% FEMA, 12.5% state, approaches $180,800. There's a potential that we'd be getting 90% of our expenses from FEMA. So if we get 90% of our expenses, it changes a little bit. So we would get a total from FEMA of about $290,000, $300,000 from FEMA. The state will then take in 7.8%. That accrues. $22,633 for a total of $312,947. So, you know, we'll just wait and see what, what the theme is going to kick in. You know, we heard from the League of Cities and Towns that it's going to be 90% of the state will put in 7.8%. Uh, the state doesn't want to hold up to that. They say they don't have that information available yet. So mm. when they get it, they'll let us know. Oh. So things are moving slowly, but they are moving. Must feel good to see some bigger checks coming in. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. encouraging. That was a big check. Yeah. Congratulations and thank you. Well, thank you, Randy. Thank you. Mm. Anything else? Unless you guys have questions about FEMA, no. Don't say Pet Road. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Kip. Um, so, I'm not sure if the next item agenda is a town webmaster, and I'm not sure if. Um, Anybody have any suggestions or recommendations or have approached anybody or whether it's worth running an ad or skip whether you have an well, idea? Well, you know, I don't have any idea who would take over the responsibility. The reason why I didn't have to launch it is a couple of weeks ago as a um, you know, meeting with FEMA and uh, doing 911, assigning 911 addresses. Mm -hmm. 
So two weeks ago, I assigned three 911 addresses and loaded them onto the 911 system mm. and uh, applied for the new disaster recovery and worked through the existing mm. disaster recovery, mm. then posted like a half a dozen items on the town website. I said, mm. wait a minute. You know, I want to get out and play golf. I want to go kayaking. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have to load shed something. So I think the easiest thing to load shed would be uh, posting on the town website. Mm -hmm. And Ben Whit, I think, is that how he's? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. He said he's available to train the next person to do that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it does take some computer literacy to do that. And, you know, I don't know who would have the time you know, to do that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. The gentleman that uh, Skip Makrasadi has chosen or has volunteered to a wing, right? Wing mm -hmm. to yeah. work, you know, for the town on the mm -hmm. uh, computer system, the offices, and uh, mm -hmm. this place. You know, perhaps he's a candidate. The uh, reason I put this on the agenda was just so we could get this out there in case. Uh, and yeah, I'll continue to do it. People know yeah. that we're looking for that. Mm. Skip, what's the mm -hmm. amount of time it takes, like per week or per month? Well, it depends uh -huh. what's posted. Okay. You know, if you have some commissions wanting to post something like the cemetery commission mm -hmm. or planning commission, normal people, you know, would be meeting minutes from the planning commission, mm -hmm. uh, cemetery commission, library, library, uh, select board. After town meeting of new, new, yeah. every time there's Oh. Changed. So it depends. Okay. You know, some weeks mm -hmm. it's maybe four hours. Mm -hmm. Some weeks it could be approaching, you know, six, seven. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's trying to carve out the time and doing it in a timely fashion too because the new open meeting laws mm -hmm. are pretty strict in terms mm -hmm. of, you know, when you have to post things and how they should be posted. I did um, hear in Ben's email mention that the HCTV already has a link. There's all, all, a link on one of the drop down menus for HCTV. Yeah, uh, and uh, the, re the fact that all our minutes always say that you can see the uh, recording at hctv.us. That probably would cover us as far as the fact that the new open meeting law insists that we. Yeah, I don't know about probably. I would want to find out. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, at least it's something to say if somebody were to mention it. <laughs> I'd say, look, it's right here. And but then anyway, they can sue us. That's the reason why I have to step away. But I'll continue to do it until, you know, whomever raises their hand. Is it a paid position or strictly voluntary? Voluntary. Yeah. Thank you for doing it for as long as you have been. It used to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. We just volunteered you. <laughs> yeah. You're the new webmaster. Yeah, all right. That is right. <clears throat> my wheelhouse mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. all right moving on I guess we're moving on to the next um, item mm -hmm. rumors of resignations mm -hmm. uh, possibly we we're going to be looking for a new constable and a new list a confirmation today that our constable Gary Clark is going to be moving within the next few weeks to California there is one person who has already volunteered to uh, take that job, and I don't know whether we are compelled to advertise it first or, or not. It's um, Ed Dumas who has volunteered to do the uh, animal control officer. And he is from Hardwick, but he's willing, <laughs> which is nice. So I don't know whether we want to. When you say whether we're compelled, meaning like whether we legally should uh, right. advertise it or not? Right, whether we owe it to all our community members to give them the opportunity for this 
wonderful job that nobody ever wants. <laughs> but it'd be a nice thing to at least post it yeah. first, you know. Yeah. But that's, that's great that Ed is willing to do it. Yeah. I can't imagine there's going to be a tremendous amount of interest. Maybe we could post it, it but, um, double with the webmaster <laughs> position. And they would hold that position until Ed would, or presumably whoever would hold it until town meeting. Yeah, the, it's yeah. an appointed position, but it's usually only one year at a time. It's not elected. It's, you usually make the, all those appointments after town meeting. So I'll prorate his and pay him. Right, right. This is another $500 a year Seven. job. <laughs> Yeah, and the other one was a uh, rumor that Jane Old Lorendo was going to be done as a lister. I tried to get her to the re confirm that in writing. She did when she took the job uh, at town meeting two years ago. She said she was only going to do it for two years, even though it's a three-year position. And she also told the listers after they finished their work this fall that she was done. But I'd like to have her resign and. Uh, we start looking for somebody else. Okay. So it sounds like we're going to post both of those mm. to... Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are we posting just on the town website? <laughs> Should we do like Front Porch Forum? We got Front Porch Forum and the Woodbury Facebook page. Yeah. And, uh, so if Gary's leaving... Yeah. There goes that. <laughs> there goes that. Yeah. So putting it out there if somebody wants to take that over as well. Yeah, that's, that's, not that's, not a paid, that's not a paid position. Right? It's not even a town position. It's oh, a so private. That's his own private. Yeah, he just does that um, for the yeah. town. It's so can someone even take it over? Or is that going to, like, if he is not doing it, is it, does it just disappear? We'll see. It's a good question, but it's informative. It is. Yeah, nice. it is nice yeah. to have. Yeah. It's nice. I think you can assign people because you can have mod you can have people multiple people be able to run and do their things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'll make a call to Gary so that we have a definite answer and um, yeah, maybe link that with the webmaster mm -hmm. that person's would like to do that as well. Mm -hmm. But yeah, can I mention something? Mm -hmm. That lovely eyesore that's in our parking lot at work. Yeah. Mm. Said that it was going to be towed either Saturday or Sunday, and it's still sitting there. Is that the dark gray chalk that I saw? Yeah, yes. it's it's rough. It's uh, rough. Yeah. Front smashed, back smashed. Anyway, um, mm. how long before I can have it towed? What? How long before I can have it towed? Oh. It's not. It takes up. It's parked. Yeah. 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 No. So mm. I'm asking the select board how long before I can. There's no telephone number on mm -hmm. the note. Mm-hmm. Um, but it said it was going to be removed Saturday or Sunday, and I don't want it to drag on. Mm -hmm. So you don't know who the owner is who left the note? No. There's a name, but it, with a lovely heart, but Janelle, or, it, yeah, I can't even. Is there like a last name? No. No. And what does the note say? That, sorry, please don't tow my truck, it'll be gone for Saturday and Sunday, it'll be towed away, mm -hmm. and it's still sitting there. Is it like, in the way? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, this way. However, there is still room for parking. So, yeah. I don't think we should bother to have it towed yet. I mean, I would say like maybe give it a week. I know it's in the way, but just if we don't know the situation or whose it is or what happened, it might just be like nice to wait. Maybe that's too nice. I don't know. How long did it take to, to get, to get to somebody to tow a car the last time we did it? Well, you took a while. Call and say, hey, you want a rig? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> but this, this vehicle's not legal by any means. You have to uh -huh. call the cops to run the plates. Uh -huh. It's not legal. Can we just, oh. uh -huh. just kind of pull it back so it's not directly in your apartment spots? We I mean, it's, see yeah. it's definitely in your way, but can mm -hmm. we just go down to it and pull it back? Closer to the church, so it's more out of the way. I wouldn't want to do that just because I, yeah, I wonder they're going to keep us. Right. So it's something. not legal, and it shouldn't have been on the road in the first place. Okay. I mean, how did it get? get how did it get there? I don't know. Oh, boy. Well, I would so suggest we the, the end of the week. Give them to the but end of the week. There's stuff dangling under the front end. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah the there's what? The front end is all. Like, there's the one that lights on. Yeah. There's no front end. Real. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway. Uh, 
Yeah, it seems like it could just be kind of dragged towards the church a little bit so that you guys don't have to park around it. You can kind of park closer to the town office. Seems like more effort to drag it than it's worth if we can just call Gates mm -hmm. and get them to come take it. But like maybe well, we just we... to be nice, give them, I mean, right. no, I hear you now. In a few days. Mm -hmm. I'm going to check back on the cameras and see if I know who or where, what vehicle they took off in. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Is it like more Talk of the today. same type of traffic that we've had issues? I, I'm kind of like assuming that it's that, but I mean, I'm also yeah. assuming that. Yeah. But never assume. Great. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, moving on to the other updates and other town business. Uh, the, I sent the. I guess what I need help with is making sure that the RFP for the town hall roof that the dates that I put in here are reasonable dates mm -hmm. um, and so I suggested that uh, the bids you know today being the ninth that the bids be I gotta get back to it what did I say by October 14th thank you John we'll be in touch with thanks John hi that's, that's only a month Bob. okay all right so by us tweaking the roof, does that affect the, the historical site on the Vermont, the state site? No, I checked with Mary Jo, and she said as long as it's the same material, we can't just switch it over to a green enamel roof. It still has to be a corrugated metal roof. Wow. And then the other thing that I spoke to Diana about is, is this template that uh, I used had a mandatory site inspection, but does, I can't man, imagine that this is a small enough job that nobody nobody's going to want to show up for a pre-bid meeting for something yeah, this small. That would be for a large project. Yeah. yeah, so you, everybody's should, okay if I take that out. Drive by, but, uh, yeah. They should look at it, but they yeah. don't have to have somebody with them. That's pretty obvious. Okay. Well, I'll pull that out. Um, I have myself as uh, a contact for Thank you. questions, mm -hmm. and if people want to meet, that's mm -hmm. fine. Mm -hmm. um, and then, mm -hmm. uh, I guess there is, we post to the town website, and then we put an ad in the paper mm -hmm. that we're seeking. Um, and so I created we this. A, we had a, this job, I mean, a job description at one point, didn't we? Well, I just had a, a scope of work or whatever. Yeah. Well, I guess that scope of work is in the scope RFP. But it should there should be some more in the ad to say what we're a little more description of you just what we're a, asking for. You just poke a link, post a link to the RFP. Yeah, that's good. so I just said the town of Woodbury is issuing an RFP for the replacement of the roof in, um, on the Woodbury Town Hall. Qualified bidders will be fully insured, review all bid documents, and do a site visit. I'm just going to say a site visit, not with mm -hmm. a town official. I mean, they can. Mm -hmm. Bid documents are available on the Town of Woodbury website. Mm -hmm. Is that okay for an advertisement? You want to put the link to the Woodbury website. Okay. I mean, the W, whatever it is, WoodburyVT. Do you want to have copies of the RFP available to town office? Oh, yeah, there's just yeah, yeah, that's what we usually do. Also. Yeah, copies if you send it. Yeah. Skip, can you tell me that website again, address? www.woodburyvt.org. Okay, thank you. Uh, so we need to have copies at the town office. Um, the documents are available on the town of Woodbury website as well and at the Woodbury town. And then, 
that gets placed in Arabic Gazette. The what else does that get posted? Well, the world, the uh, I don't know. I might do News of Citizen for that because that gets a lot of distribution in Hardwick, around Hardwick and Morrisville. Doesn't get distribution here, but. Do we have to pick three? Or what's the. No, we just, I mean, okay. we just want to get. But capture get as many. Okay, right, yeah. exactly. Capture yeah. as many. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so I should send this to. Print it out and put it at our camera. Send it to me. Yeah. <laughs> send it to you. Well, we might yeah. want also. It's going to be available at the town office. We might want to say where the town office is. Okay. Phone number. Town office. I can do that stuff. All right. But I will send it to you then, it, and then Robin, and Robin, Robin will print out it. copies of it. Well, yeah. the RFP. Oh, okay. the RFP. I thought you were talking about the yeah. ad. Well, the ad then I'll send to you and to Skip because he'll post this on the website. Okay, but but Robin would be the one to send it to the newspapers. Yeah. Right. Okay. But I'll just run it past you guys before. So you can. So which which newspapers? Um, I have the Gazette and the News of Citizen. Is, and the uh, World. And I don't know. Maybe the Times Argus. I don't know how much that costs. But. What do you think? Do you, where do you guys look for jobs? They People call you. I'll look for it. Works out well. Um, yeah. Okay. So, sounds like the Gazette. Do you have all the the papers? That's what you, you were recording the papers, yeah. the newspapers. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you need. I, yeah, to be I, I just didn't know. Which, I just wanted to have that in the minutes. So okay. Papers, but I've got three of them, so three of them Okay. Good night. Hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, and the only other thing left to do is approve bills and payroll orders, which we can do off camera so Jerome can, can go home. Okay, I'll make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. All those in favor? Oh, Aye. Aye. Good night, guys. Aye. Good night, guys.